Hello, so I'm driving, listening to Beethoven, and I'm thinking, and driving, listening to Beethoven's great, by the way, I love it. It gets me out of my mediocre mind space because Beethoven is anything but mediocre. It's kind of like an F you to mediocrity, very much. So, Beethoven and idiocracy. And I was thinking about idiocracy and how like Nestle is buying the water rights under the United States and how people talk about Xi Jinping and they talk about Stalin, like, like they talk about that stuff, um, Putin and they talk about like, all these people as though these are people we should be worried about when we should probably be more worried about the companies going on doing things at our own country, like Nestle again, buying up all the water rights to the water underground. It's a very interesting thing. Nestle's buying the water rights, the water underground, like check it out. That's weird. But I was thinking about this and I think the issue is kind of an idiocracy issue. It's not looking at the phone because it makes me kind of self-conscious a little bit. It takes me out of my flow. So if you're wondering why I'm spacing out, it's not spacing out. I'm just trying to stay in the flow. So, I think the issue is an issue of decreased metabolism because as our metabolic health decreases, so like the reason like I think all these cancers and stuff are on the rise and everything's on the rise is ultimately because of decreased metabolism. Ultimately, I mean like our metabolisms have been decreasing for a variety of reasons. We know the causes of decreased metabolism. We know that they're decreasing. We know that we're not doing anything about that. We know that decreased metabolism leads to decreased intelligence, increased susceptibility to disease, problems of all sorts, um, diabetes, problems with glucose, cancers related to problems with glucose, cancer is also related to diabetes, Alzheimer's and other brain problems are related to glucose metabolism and problems with glucose metabolism and metabolism in general. So really there is this problem with society becoming more corporatized as we become dumber because of our own inability to think. Like as people lose the ability to think, we start acting in dumb ways basically. And the solution to that is for society to become more intelligent, but not through some sort of eugenics program, simply through increasing our health so our metabolisms increase so we are more intelligent and therefore better off i mean really to break it down for you guys the people who are going to be most successful in the future are going to be the people who are able to like the countries that are going to be the most successful are going to be the countries with the highest metabolism and highest level of education those two things often don't go together because people who are highly educated often have low metabolisms because they had to do a bunch of unhealthy things to get highly educated and they're highly stressed and that decreases the metabolism for a whole bunch of reasons. And that is one of the reasons I'm founding my own country so that I can basically just help have a population of highly metabolically healthy, highly intelligent, my eyes are getting dry from ah, the heat in the car. Um, highly healthy, highly metabolically healthy, highly intelligent people who are all employed at various fields that lead, that like create health, like grass fed beef, all this stuff. I mean, this video isn't about creating my own country. That's another video. I already have this all broken down in other videos and why I'm doing that. Really, it's just about is idiocracy coming real because of low metabolism? And the answer I think is yes. And the solution is to raise our health metabolically across the country by exercising more, eliminating seed oils, um, eliminating toxins, detoxing our bodies of plastics, of heavy metals, of all these things gunking up our cells, gunking up our mitochondria, preventing healthy metabolism, creating uh, reactive oxygen species in our bodies, oxidative damage, inflammation, hurting glucose metabolism, creating insulin insensitivity and diabetes, all this stuff is bad. Bad for our brains though, which then creates more corporatization, which dumbs down everything, increases the level of poison in this food. So we really do have to beat this before it's too late because if we don't, then will we? I mean, will we? I mean, cause like, I don't know. I think we will. Cause like I, 
going to beat it with my company, but will the rest of y'all, yeah, we'll, we'll pull through. Week to Warrior will pull through. Done.